So you might have seen web developers having a website and uh, putting all their work in that website, showing what they have built to the world. So I think in this course, we are going to build a lot of websites. So it will be, it, it will be nice if you actually put all those websites in your portfolio, which means build a website and then put all those websites in that website and host that website on GitHub. So you can host static websites on GitHub for free. So they are giving you storage space and you can host your website there. So please Google out about how to uh, do this, how to host a website on GitHub, a static website, not dynamic, static website on, a, on GitHub and uh, see if you can host it there. I will just, I just as the exercise, I'm just showing you how to build your portfolio website. So basically, whatever websites you have built, you can take a screenshot of those websites and you can put those images in your in, in this website. Okay, let's see that. So this is the boilerplate. Using the boilerplate, we are writing the code. It is actually a good practice to take the develop the boiler, I mean use the boilerplate and write your code there. It is not compulsory. Even without it, your code will execute. Browsers will be able to run your code. So the title is My Portfolio. And also in the web page at the top, we are displaying My Portfolio. And uh, you are writing, I am web developer. And then we are putting the websites one by one. There are only two websites using an anchor tag. So birthdayweb.html is one of the code that we have written just before this. So here it is birthday web and here it is best books. Take best books or birthday. So I, we have taken a screen, sorry, we are, we are embedding the link of the birthday in this birthday invite party. And then we are putting the image of the website, birthday invite website image. And then we are putting the next one, that books website we have built. And then we are putting the screenshot of that website. And then a horizontal rule, which will draw a line and we are including about, sorry, about me. We are not putting anything there, just a placeholder hash for the future purpose. And contact me. Now, let's see the preview. Let's open it in the browser, it will be better.
so you can see the website so it's my birthday So we have got both the websites, screenshots. So it is it's my birthday website. And the other one is best books website. Okay. So these are the two screenshots that we have kept. And at the end of it, we have used uh, about me and contact me, which, which is a dummy link. It will not work. Okay. Just a placeholder. Right. So it doesn't look good as of now, but as we gradually build beautiful websites and we use CSS, then you can build a website using HTML CSS that will look better. Then you can actually boast that you are a web developer. But with this website, you cannot say that you are a web developer as of now. So later we will do styling. Okay. Thank you.